welcome to CB Shaves. Different introductions. I'd like to introduce you to the CB Shaves family, Mason. This is Mason. He's a 13 week old Rottweiler. And it's, it's great to have a, a dog in the house again. Say hello. Say hello. Yeah. Say hello. He's going to be a big boy. We go be the big boy. Right, I'll see you on the shave. See you guys. Hey, we're back. Oh, lovely Mason. How are you doing on this fine Sunday afternoon? I hope. Um, I say hope, I'll explain in a minute. It's finally great to have time to video a shave. I just have not had the time or the energy over the past five months. And I explained that in the unboxing video. Things have improved, uh, thankfully for the family illness situation, things have improved, but they're not ideal. But yeah, oh, how are you doing? Are you having a good weekend? I hope you've been having some great shaves. And I hope to have a great shave today. Right, what are we using? Use soap in the den, as you can see from the thumbnail. Barristan and Man Rhapsody. This is a beautiful scent, guys. It really is. Scent strength out the pork. There's the pork. I would say it was about a six, six and a half. The notes in this are pear blossom, apple and cherry blossom accord. And it's nice. I, I, I do get an apple. I don't get any pear or cherry. Base notes are lemon, orange, orange flower, rose, bay, thyme, sandalwood, patchouli, musk, lavender and vanilla. I get vanilla, I get oh, the musk, I love musk. I get patchouli. The citrus I get, but the only thing I find disappointing, I wish that the citrus would be more forward instead of being the base notes. That's the only downside to this. It's lovely. And here's the ingredients. If you can see that, if you want to pause it. And this is the omnibus base. They're always trying to improve their bases at Barrister and Man. Brush I'm going to be using is my Yaki Casino 26 millimeter synthetic tuxedo knot. Get that soaking. Raise the choice to get rid of this monstrosity. What I've been doing with this, guys, uh, for the last five months, I've been, well, I say five, but four months, I've been trimming it once a week with the clippers. I just haven't had time to shave, and it only takes two minutes to clip it. This is about a month's growth, which needs to go. And we're using the Mule R41 Twist, AKA the Beast, and this being the Twist. The Twist version is a two-piece razor as opposed to the other version, which is a three piece. It's a short thread on this. Why is that coming out? There you go. Short thread. It's a beautiful, look at the combs on that. What I like about Mueller is the, the thickness of the handles. Very comfortable in the hand. And inside there, we're gonna go with the Gillette Menorah blade. And it will be its first juice. Oh, I've only got two left, I need to get some more of these. They're a good blade for me. Very sharp, very smooth. And we'll just take this out, the wrapper. Bit of glue marks on there, but it shouldn't hinder the shave. And there you go. So we shall place that on the head cap like so. And twist it down. It's one of the, the razors I it's one of my favourite razors in the den actually. It, it, I know this will cope with the growth. It's taking its time, but that was my fault. Blade alignment looks excellent. Don't know if you can see that. AKA the beast. Now, I wouldn't say this was a beast, but it is extremely efficient, but smooth. 
because it's post 2013. Let's, let's just get loading the brush, right. Three flicks of the brush so it's wet but not dripping and let's gather from the puck and lather on the face. Yeah, when Mule R41 first came out, I think it was 2011, and it was extremely aggressive. I had a Mueller 2011 version. I couldn't use it. It was extremely aggressive for me. I ended up gave it. I gave the uh, the head away to uh, Craig. Will, how you doing, Craig? Are you watching? And I got the 2013 version in the twist. And like I say, it's an extremely efficient razor, but very smooth. And I'm hoping it's going to give me a nice smooth shave. There we go, there's the brush loaded. Let's wet the mush. Oh, new glasses. I don't know if you, any of you have been uh, watching me for any length of time. I've been moaning about my eyesight. I eventually had to get an eye test and new glasses because <clears throat> Previously, at the beginning of the year, we had uh, really heavy snow and I was in work, I was on delivery and um, I face planted the ground <laughs> and I broke my glasses. Anyway, let's get this wet. Oh, I think this growth is going to hold more water than this brush to be honest with you. So yeah, I face planted, broke the glasses, had to get an emergency appointment, get some glasses straight away. So well, that's one job done. And I say it as well, at the beginning, it was a good afternoon, this fine Sunday, because I am shaving now I'm recording this, um, it's about 9.30 Sunday morning. And we are finally, it's a day of celebration actually. For any of you, again, that's been watching me for quite some time, I've been going on about the internet, how poor it was. And it's been, it's really been, a uh, quite a burden to the channel because we were on the copper wire and it takes anything up to two hours and 45 minutes to upload a video 25 minute video but when i'm uploading we have to switch everything off our mobiles and everything because it just drained the internet and there was drops in it and crap basically This feels great. Um, we are finally in the 21st century. We, we got upgraded on Friday, only been waiting four years for it guys. We are now on the super fast fiber Wi-Fi. So I don't know how long, I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be the afternoon when you see this, because I don't know how quick it is. But with the upload speed, we've gone from one megabyte, believe it or not, yeah, I know, to, I think it's around about 50, just under 50 megabytes. So it, if it's as quick as people have told me, Uploading the videos and getting back to normal routine regards as uh, the shaves should be a lot quicker and regular. I am so looking forward to this guys and I hope I find you all well and in good health. <laughs> Here we go, the first pass for 2023, believe it or not. Mule R41 twist with the Minora Gillette blade for the first use. Here we go. This is going to take a bit of time with the first pass and a lot of rinsing because considering the amount of growth. 
It might, be, might even be longer than a month, to be honest with you. It might be five or six weeks, I can't remember. Work's just been so busy and my personal life has been so busy. Like I explained in the last un unboxing video. So yeah. Not much has changed to be honest with you. Regarding them wise. Uh, I, I have still been buying gear. I have new razors, new soaps and splashes, new brushes. So they'll be all in upcoming videos. Wow, look at this. It's so great to feel a blade on the skin again. That's a lot of whiskey if you watch it. It'll probably clog up the drains. Yeah, lovely Mason. It's great to have a dog in the house again. Our previous dog, Jess, um, we lost her two years ago to cancer. And we weren't gonna get another dog until we moved to Scotland. Oh, can you hear that? I know it's gross. <laughs> yeah, but if you watch the unboxing video, due to uh, Mrs. B's parents' ill health, we've had to put the move to Scotland on hold. So, we decided to um, get another dog. And since as it was Mrs. B's birthday, March, I did promise I'd get her a dog. But we were supposed to be in Scotland. And with the Rottweiler being Mrs. B's favourite breed, that's what I got her. It's a fantastic dog. We weighed him at 13 weeks. We've had him since nine weeks. We weighed him at 13 weeks and he was 12.4 kilos. Just over two stone, I believe. But he's gonna be a big boy. His paws are massive. Right, the, the first pass It's going to be a little bit longer, obviously. Because if this does clog, I don't want it to just it on my face. I may have to take the blade out. Listen to that. Isn't that a great sound? So we're up to the week three weeks, uh, the shave three weeks ago, I hear you say. Well, I did the unboxing video, if you'd seen it. I did it, I think it was early Saturday morning. And I mean early. <laughs> I had every intention in doing the shave straight after it. But Mrs. B was hungry. So, no it wasn't Saturday, it was Sunday. So I decided to cook some breakfast for me and Mrs. B before the shave. And I was cooking some bacon and eggs And this is the first 
first time it's ever happened to me, one of the eggs in the pan exploded. And I mean exploded. The, the egg went off like a grenade. So basically I burnt my face and I was cooking away. And when it exploded, lucky enough I had a bit of growth which stopped a lot of the blistering. But I had small blisters all over my face, but my eye, a piece of egg, exploded and wedged itself between my skin and my glasses here. Good job I had my glasses on. Uh, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but I have a bit of a scar from the blister just there. I don't know if you can see that. But I had all spots of blisters all over my face. So I had to let it heal and it took nearly two weeks. There's no way I could have shaved with blisters on my face. So that's what happened. Nothing to do with the family or work or anything else. I basically burnt my skin. But all is good now. Oh my God, I can see my face. You guys, well, you may know how it feels, but when you've had growth for a few weeks, when you haven't had time, you get that blade on your face again. Then you'll know how I feel that right now. The strength on this lathered up, it's a beautiful scent. It's, um, I'd say it's slightly refreshing. It's slick. I just wish those citrus notes would be a bit more forward. But it's still a very nice scent. Yeah, so the internet absolutely made up. Like I say, we've been waiting four years for it to get up upgraded. Because I live in a tiny village in the sticks and they can't put it through the ground. It would have cost, I heard it's something like nearly £200,000. through the ground so what we we've, we've had done they did it before Christmas last year I think you might have heard me mention it they did all the uh, the cables we need all the cables put all the, the super fast fiber booster boxes on the poles and now we are finally upgraded I'm finally in the 21st century. How's that looking guys? Look at that for a first pass. Feels amazing. Yeah, the... It's one thing I noticed about all these artisans. They're always trying to um, improve their basis. I can understand why, for a, the market perspective. But with a lot of them, I'm like, why bother? You get a good base, stick with it. Wickham Soaps, British artisan. They've got a great base on their soaps. They've never changed it. Never tried to improve because it works. Right, I understand on the market side of it. Always trying to strive and improve on the product. I'm just going to gather a, a little bit more out of the pork. And I'm not sure how long this is going to go on for. Um, to be honest with you, I don't really care. It's nice, relaxing shave. Great brush, great feel in the hand with the handle. Like I say, the meal R41 is one of my favourite razors in the den. It's just so nice being back in air shape, you guys. It's been so long. I've missed it so much. 
really strange. I was thinking about it the other day, um, which I really desperately need to get back in the den. Here we go, guys. Second pass across the grove. Get back in the den, shaving, taking a bit of pride in myself. Because I haven't been able to. And it just dawned on me how much I hated shaving until I changed over to the tra traditional way. And it's not just about the, the shave to me. Or, you know, the ritual, the... The creating a lather. Whether it be on the face or in the bowl. It's about the condition of your skin. My skin has never felt better. It's never looked better. So let me know your shaves of the day guys, if you shave today. Like I say, I hope you're having a great weekend. And welcome and thank you to the new subscribers. I, th I think I, I mentioned it in the, uh, the unboxing video that I haven't uploaded for about three months and the channel's still growing. It's still growing now. It's absolutely amazing. It really is. Thank you so much. And thank you to each and every one of you for sticking with me. I really appreciate every single one of you. Start to feel human again. Although I, I must admit, in working on delivery for my customers, for those of you who don't know, I'm a postman for Royal Mail, have been for 20 years now. 20 years, January it was. They have commented that the beards suited me. Wow. I forgot what I look like without a growth. <laughs> oh, I'm so enjoying this. So have you got this soap? Have you used it? Let me know your thoughts, whether you think the same as me, whether you'd rather have the, uh, the citrus notes more forward in the scent. It's a great base. It's easy to work with. Um, a tad thirsty, but um, it's a great scent, it really is nice. There is a bit of history behind the scent, which I can't remember off the top of my head, so I won't go into it, but I will leave a link. I got this from Slick Boys over here in the UK. Um, the Razor Company stock it as well, I believe. Or you can go onto the main website. But I'll leave a link into where I got it from, Slip Boys in the UK. So you can read up on the scent yourself. There's nothing better than browsing to shop. <laughs> oh, I just want to have a look at this. The next minute, it's in your basket. <laughs> I have placed an order to uh, Phoenix Artisan Recruitment. Only a small order. I haven't bought any for a while, but there was two soaps I really wanted and can't get them over here in the UK. So I'm looking forward to that. That should be in within the next two weeks. So there'll probably be an unboxing. I have a, a brush. 
that should have been delivered. I bought it off my, my favourite enabler, Joseph Cunning Mr. Fox. How you doing Joseph and the lovely Lana? Oh, you're both well. It hasn't arrived. Um, it, it's got to be an issue with, here we go, my favourite pass against the Grove. It's got to be an issue with um, the mail centres or something over here in the UK because we're struggling with staffing. Very short staffed. So I'm hoping it's just got held up and misplaced. But it is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm going to try and... Um, I've got the tracking number now off Joseph. I'm going to chase it up tomorrow through my contacts with Royal Mail and see what's going on. And I'm sorry if this does go on a bit longer than 25 minutes. I tried, I tried to keep it between 20 and 25 minutes and all my videos because of the crap internet. Anything over 25 minutes would take about four hours to upload. I, it was a real, like I say, it was a real burden. I wouldn't recommend buffering too much for this razor. <laughs> Unless you're used to it, and you've got the uh, oh, the technique dialed in. I've seen if it, you can still see where I, my face was blistered. There is a little bit of a scar there that you can see, just just there. It hurt. Almost thought I had to go to A and E, but treated it straight away with cold water, and you've got some uh, burn cream in the house, so there was no need to go to A and E. I don't like to bother um, accident emergency in the hospitals if I don't have to, or something like that. I especially knew that bit was going to scar anyway, so. Just treated it as best as I could. Right, I'm gonna show up on the top lip now. <laughs> First time on the top lip in five months. That's what I actually look like. <laughs> I forgot what I look like about the Grove. Yeah, great senses so. A little bit of out of practice around the top way. I got it down to a fine art as well. Right, let's feel. Oh, just tiny, very tiny bit there, and possibly the ear. Very little pickups. But do you find that if you if you've left your beard growth for quite a few days, a week, or even two weeks, and you get a a really, really close shave with a heavy growth. I find that. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's because that 
that has a condition. I don't know. I just always find I get a really close shave. With a heavy growth. With no other blade has performed superb. Like I said, they're a really sharp blade, but smooth. Nice blade for me, I really like them. Top off them. Wow, it feels so nice on the skin drop as well. Alan Block, you know I love the Alan. Oh my word. Oh, bit of tiny bit of zing here, but that feels nice. I like the zing. Slight graze there, not a cut. Yeah, it's a little bit delicate around the chin, but it's been five months. Slight bit of zing. Final rinse off. Fresh towel. <coughs> oh my word. The I know it might sound stupid, but the feel of a towel on the skin and not the beard and the growth feels amazing I feel alive I really do feel alive that is excellent no major issues and we're going with Rhapsody the matching splash obviously it smells stronger it smells stronger than the soap I get more of the lavender on the sandalwood with this than I do the citrus. Wow, I get the blossom now. I'm getting a bit of blossom. Very much so. Very refreshing. Right, bomb I'm going with is Nivea Men Fresh Kick. Superb, refreshing balm on the skin. Fantastic scent of cactus. That's probably too much. Like I say, I'll leave a description. I won't leave a description. <laughs> I'll leave links in the description and a list of what I've used. Follow me on Instagram, that'll be at the bottom of the page. If you're new to the channel and you've not been here before and you like the video, please consider to subscribe. That'd be appreciated. Don't forget the thumbs up guys and don't forget your shaves of the day. I just found something gross in the plug on. <laughs> I've got a filter at the bottom of the plug. Oh, I'm going to show you anyway. That's my, my facial hair. That's why the sink doesn't really clog. I got filters. Right? Thank you so, so much. And it was my pleasure to introduce you to uh, Mason, the new member of the uh, CB Shaves family. Right, have a fantastic rest of the weekend, guys. I shall 100% see you in the week. And, um, yeah, until then, stay smooth and stay safe. Bye, guys. Take care.